meant to you? Well, you know, Lauren, we both um, began our appointment um, over three years ago together. Mm -hmm. So this is starting our second term. And I feel like um, the council has really enabled me, given me the tools to be able to um, advocate for what's important for people with disabilities and not just get on a soapbox but really give me the tools to be able to speak with legislators inform and educate stakeholders and um, you know there's been several incidents where um, I was given information from the council mm -hmm. and I was able to like reproduce that in my community and and now they're asking me questions about um, disability and supports for disability and so uh, it's really enabled me in my community in the rural area to be able to um, talk about the council. Yeah I'd say the same thing I found that now that I'm on the council and people know that I'm on the council I have people coming to me about all manner of things and they'll say can you help me with this because I know you're on that on the council mm -hmm. and so I, I think you would know how to help and I love that and so I'd say the same thing um, for me with the council I feel like I've learned a lot of tools and even though I've been in the disability world a long time being a special education teacher it's different on the other side mm -hmm. of learning policy things and how we can affect change and how important our story is I think that's been really empowering to me is um, how important each of our stories are with our own children and how right. it impacts our families and our communities I think that one of the um, most memorable things that the council did for me um, was uh, give me the scholarship to go through partners in policy making where mm -hmm. we actually got to meet with the representatives and some of the things that um, these legislators said was your personal story so I can resonate with what you said about that mm -hmm. and um, you know not being afraid to um, talk with them and they really do want to just hear from you so being able to impact change and make change mm -hmm. um, has been um, just life-changing for us I feel like when I look back at the things um, that have been accomplished while I've been on the council I'm really in awe because I can almost write out a list of things that have happened that there's actually been change yes. um, and and so that's great you know a lot of people might think that you know you're just kind of treading water and, mm -hmm. and nothing's being done but it really is I there's, know especially when we, yeah we go over those projects you know when we're in the meetings and they list all the projects that we're helping to fund and all the things mm -hmm. that are happening in the in the state it's amazing to kind of see wow <laughs> we're going to be a part of that you know and right. these amazing things are happening throughout the state that I don't know that I would have known all of those things if we didn't see that but I think you're totally right I think it can feel like you're trading water sometimes and people don't always understand what all is going on but there's so many things and I think in Tennessee because we all partner together mm -hmm. because all the agencies partner together it's so much bigger than I think people realize right. because it's cooperative it's not people aren't fighting for the, against each other we're all working together for the same goals and I think that makes a big difference that does and that leads me to think about all the relationships that we've developed with um, you know with each other as mm -hmm. council members throughout the state mm -hmm. so that's a great network a, a wonderful link um, and then the relationships that we've made you know with these heads of agencies that um, you know normally maybe they wouldn't be hearing from the people who are actually having the issues um, so these relationships have just been outstanding I'm so excited about um, a lot of information and resources coming to the rural areas um, the spread of Tennessee Disability Pathfinder mm -hmm. um, has been huge I know there's been um, we had a Disability 101 um, training session in Paris mm -hmm. and it was very well attended I was so proud of it and so many different agencies and um, community leaders came and, mm -hmm. and was in attendance and learned so much so we just have to to keep that going yeah that was a full get... room I saw pictures of that on Facebook mm -hmm. and it was packed yeah yeah that, that was, was really good that was it was really well received so things like that just getting it out into the community and in the rural areas mm -hmm. um, it's as super well important. As, right. Yeah, because I think those state. areas get overlooked a lot. People yeah. feel like they do. Feel, uh -huh. And so I see the focus the council has on making sure rural areas are reached, and that's really important that's and really, really good.